In this video, we'll be looking at using trigonometry to solve some word problems. Let's dive in. Park ranger in a 55-foot tall tower spots a fire off in the distance. Using a clinometer, he measures the angle of depression to the fire to be 19 degrees. How far from the base of the tower is the fire? I encourage you to pause the video and sketch out this picture uh, the best that you can. And we'll take a look at my picture in just a moment. So here's mine. Our perspective is from this red point right here. And what we're looking for uh, is the distance from the fire tower to the fire itself. So this distance right here. We'll call that X. Now hopefully you recognize that that X is the same length as this X right here. So I may as well just find that dotted line right here. And similarly, the green length I'm about to indicate, the 55-foot tall tower, is the same as this 55-foot length right here. Because height uh, is meant to be um, defined as a perpendicular uh, distance, we know this is a 90-degree angle, just as this is a 90-degree angle here. And we can use some trigonometry to help solve this problem. From my perspective of 19 degrees, the angle of depression, the angle looking downward from the horizontal zero, the 55 degrees in question is directly opposite. The x that I'm looking for is directly adjacent. Now there is another way of solving this problem, and uh, let me show you briefly what uh, I'm talking about. If the angle of depression down to the fire is 19 degrees, that means that this measure right here would be the complement of 19 degrees, which is to say 90 minus 19, which is 71 degrees. So from that angle's perspective, the opposite is x and the adjacent is 55. But these are two different angles, and as such, their tangents are also different, as we're about to see. But for our purposes, we use the 19 that was given in the problem. It's just a little bit easier that way. <clears throat> so 55 is opposite. Uh, that's given. The x, what we're looking for, that's the adjacent. As mentioned earlier, the Tangent ratio is the one that's going to help solve this because it involves both the opposite and the adjacent. So to set up our equation, we'll say that the tangent of 19 degrees is equal to the opposite length, which is 55, over the adjacent length, which is x. If I indicate this as a fraction, this might be a little easier to, to see what's happening next. I'm going to cross multiply here. That will give me x times tangent of 19. is equal to 55 times 1, which is 55. And if I divide both sides by, <clears throat> excuse me, the tangent of 19, we get 55 over tangent 19 to be the length of x. All that remains is to enter this into the calculator to actually find what the value of this quantity is uh, approximately. So let's do that. <clears throat> First, I gotta make sure my calculator is in the right mode. So let me go to and you see that it's not, so mode, and then down to degree. So 55 divided by the tangent of 19 degrees will give us a length of 159.7 feet. And there we go. A couple key takeaways here is to recognize the angle of depression is relative to the horizontal. A lot of people will mistakenly put the 19 degrees right here. That's not what the angle of depression is. The 19 degrees can be put in this bottom triangle, which is to say this triangle right here, uh, which has the X as its ground, sort of uh, a little more directly, the distance from the fire to the base of the tower. The 19, however, by alternate interior angles of parallel lines, would be right here. And you'll notice the opposite of this orange 19 is 55, and the adjacent of that 19 is x. And you'll notice that uh, you get the same answer. Let's look at a little more challenging problem, also involving measurements in a clinometer. Two buildings are located 35 feet apart. From the roof of the shorter building, the angle of elevation to look at the top of the taller is 12 degrees. To look, uh, to look from the shorter down to the base of the taller has an angle of depression of 38 degrees. How tall is each building? 
So here from a single point, we're both looking up and looking down uh, at a single landmark that is bigger than we are, uh, than where we are, and we can use that to calculate a couple of different things. So uh, as usual, I encourage you to pause it, sketch this out, and then let's take a look at uh, how to solve this particular problem. So my sketch looks like this. We have two buildings, a taller and a, sh and a shorter, so I exaggerate it here perhaps. You notice these uh, are not drawn to scale. This is just a representation to help us get a sense of what's happening. There are ultimately two things we need to find, the height of each building. So I need to find this length right here, which I'll call, uh, for lack of a better word, x. Oops. We need to find this x right here, which is this length. And we need to find this length right here, which I'll call, for the moment at least, y. Hopefully you recognize that the distance right here will be equivalent to x, sort of the shadow cast by that building, so to speak. And that looks like a fairly easy distance to find. So let's go ahead and find that x. Recognize that the 35 feet in between the two buildings would be corresponding to the line of sight, 35 degrees, looking directly horizontal. And this becomes a lot like the last problem. So the um, x in question is opposites. The 35 in question is adjacent. So once again, this is going to be a tangent problem. So tan of, let's see, if I'm talking about this triangle right here, that's the one that has the opposite and the adjacent in it, then the tan of 38 would equal opposites over adjacent. And we'll solve for x. You multiply both sides by 35, so I get 35 times the tangent of 38. And that will give me, without too much work, the value of x, which is approximately, according to our calculator, 35 tangent of 38, 27.3 feet. A little under three stories, give or take just for some reference. So our shorter building is 27 feet because that's how long this distance right here is, which is equivalent to this distance right here. You'll notice the bigger uh, length, y, which is uh, equivalent to this length right here, obviously. <clears throat> that actually does not belong to a right triangle. The triangle used by the line of sight here does not contain a 90 degree angle as one of its three corners. However, we can still use Sokotoa trig because if we can find this intermediate length right here, which I'll call z, then hopefully you realize that the value of y is simply x plus z. And just a moment ago, we found what x was. So it shouldn't be too hard to find z. So from the perspective of 12 degrees, the opposite in this triangle here is z, and the adjacent is 35. So once again, you're kind of seeing a theme here. We're going to be using tangent. So the tangent of the 12 degree angle in the top triangle is going to equal the opposite, which is z, over the adjacent, which is still 35. So this time, the tan of 12 times 35, or 35 tan 12, will give us the value of z, which represents the difference in the two heights of the two buildings. So 35 times the tangent of z, sorry, times the tangent of 12 is approximately 7.4 feet. So that's the difference in the two buildings. And since the value of the other building's height is simply seven feet higher than the other building, I simply add my two results together I'm going to add that to my previous results. And the taller building has a height of, that value that just disappeared, 34.8 feet. Well, according to these values, it looks like it'd be 34.7 feet. Didn't get the other one. So there's my taller in black, and there's my shorter in green. All right, hope this helps.